Our Big Little Place by James A. Conan and Nicole Lalonde. Sometimes I hear mom and dad talking and they say our place is too small, but it always seemed big to me. It's in a big building with a lot of people living in it and other big buildings just like it are all around us. If you look outside the window past the balcony, there's a whole city. I like it because it's like everyone in the whole world is right there for me to see. At night, it's still bright and the lights only stop where the sky starts. Sometimes the night feels big and scary, especially right before bed. Mom and dad say lots of things seem different when we're sleepy, but the sky's the same size and so am I. I always feel better once they tuck me in. My favorite game to play in the morning is hide and seek. The only way to make it fair is to do it in the dark with the blinds closed. Dad puts cushions around the coffee table so he can look for me without bumping his legs before he goes to work. Other times, we play basketball. There's a little net on the door. The ball is small and soft, so I don't break anything. Mom can dunk, but my free throw is better. Playing in the kitchen is the best. There's lots of wet stuff in the fridge and dry stuff. And when you mix the wet stuff and the dry stuff, you get gross, goopy stuff. Sometimes mom says, I can't play in the kitchen anymore. Why don't we get some fresh air? She says. There's a nice park outside between the big buildings. Mom says it's our backyard. It's where I go to play with all my friends. And now they call it that too. Lauren and Isaac live in the same building as me, but Michael and Julie don't. I know where they live though. And when we can't play together, I can wave hello to them in their buildings from the window. Except when it's rainy and foggy out. Our place only feels small to me when I can't go out to play, like this morning. I woke up to say bye when mom and dad left for work and the weather was bad. Aunt Elizabeth came over to stay with me. She wouldn't play basketball with me for long. I got so bored, but then I had an idea. I called Lauren and Isaac and we met in the hall. We had the whole floor to ourselves, a big square racetrack. Start your engines. Watch out for the corners. Oh, and the people coming out of the elevator. After that, Aunt Elizabeth said I had to come back inside for a bit. My friends all had to go home and I couldn't go back out. So I just went to play with Pixel. We took the laundry basket with no clothes in it and imagined Five, it was my four, spaceship. Three, Pixel two, came with me. One, Kitties zero, make the best co-pilots. 
Blast off! Beep. We ended up getting lost in space. It was scary, but Dad came and got us when he got home from work. It wasn't bedtime yet, so I pretended the living room table was a pirate ship and asked Dad to play with me. What do you mean, no? Come on, pretty please? It'll just be for a minute. Ha! Avast! Dad's the best at playing pirate. Sometimes, Dad's a pirate with me, and when Mom gets home, she's his first mate. Aunt Elizabeth pretends she's a giant squid, and we all chase her across the ocean. That's when I don't mind feeling small here in our big little place. Excellent job, readers. The end. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Thank you.